Van Robotics is an educational social robotics company. We develop smart robot tutors for the school-aged child. I started as a researcher looking at technologies that could help students with special needs learn things like communication and socialization. And what we learned from about a decade of research was that social robots could be used to actually accelerate learning, not just for special needs populations, but was very effective actually for the, the typical student population. So Avi is really designed to do two things really well. One is to delight students, and the other is to educate them. We also have designed her to be super cute, so she's aesthetically like something you might see in a cartoon, or maybe in a Disney movie or in a Pixar movie. So she's intentionally designed to both elicit that approachable quality. She's also intended to have a personality that is fun and engaging, so it keeps them going even when the material gets tough. Avi is the only robot that is teaching core subjects that's also affordable. You have a lot of software out there that teaches kids. It does a good job, but it's on a tablet or a laptop. Abby is measuring your attention, is measuring your stress, your boredom, are you distracted? A tablet can't do that. The reason why Abby can measure attention, measure stress, is because Abby has sensors that are paying attention to the student. And it's not just sensors. We have an ability to interpret that data and how to interpret infrared technology to measure stress, to measure boredom. And that gives us a huge advantage on understanding the student. Hey, I noticed you might be feeling a little frustrated. Sounds like we could use a little break before we finish the rest of the math problem. We've heard from a lot of teachers that have said, this is great for shy students, this is great for kids who have had trouble in the classroom, who may not really enjoy math. By allowing the child to work with Abby, they have sort of a supportive environment where they can you know, make mistakes. Um, if they forget something, they're not gonna get in trouble. Oh my stars, unbelievable. You just amazed me. It's a very supportive environment to learn in. And the real cool thing about that is that that's just not something that can apply to a, a younger group of kids. That can be something that can apply to adults. That can be something that can apply to, you know, learning disabilities. We're definitely paving the way for something that really hasn't been seen. People build robots for fun stuff and activities, and we're building it for education. So it's really about inspiring sort of a new way of learning, a new generation of learners, and confidence in learners going forward. So I think robots are going to play a really big role in that. When it starts to get out into the environment and you start to see students and parents parents and teachers take advantage of this type of technology, then it's only advantageous for the student. It could change their world, and that's really what we're looking to do. So the first SCRA grant we received was used to build our prototypes, and we used those to conduct alpha pilot testing, which provided us information about how well the system worked to actually improve learning, and what the feedback was from the, the greater community, what the teachers thought about it, what the administrators thought about it, what the students and parents thought about it. So when we went to schools for the Alpha Pilots, we had about 30% signups our first day, but by the second day, we had almost 100% participation. With Abby, the Alpha unit, we placed it with 170 students. And with those students, they had a pre-test and a post-test. From there, we had 34% gain in their achievement. The testing was for math achievement specific to the curriculum. So we went back to SCRA and they provided an acceleration grant of 50,000, which allowed us to build these 25 beta robots. And the 25 beta robots were really intended to do a first deployment into a larger number of schools. Our investment from SE Launch will actually be used to purchase 700 robots, which will be sold to schools and consumers this year. So SCRA was there at the beginning. They believed in our vision. They invested in us and allowed us to really launch the company uh, to get to where we are today. We are beyond excited to continue working with them so that we can build the social robotics presence in South Carolina. Rocky, that was awesome. You are rocking.